Hey, Flimsy Lunch Trey here, and welcome to World of Warships in the continuation of our new player guide series, where today we're going to be revisiting the operations or scenarios, also as they're referred to um, here in World of Warships. And we're going to be taking out the New Orleans a Tier 7 American Heavy Cruiser. I just picked this up um, yesterday as we record this video on Friday. Um, as I had a lot of fun in Pensacola and ranked, um, I was actually surprised how well I was able to do in Pensacola and ranked. And so we got enough experience to be able to go ahead and pick up the New Orleans, but we still need to get our module upgrades. But that is the nice thing about um, Narai when you have tier seven ships to grind. Um, this is a, a really good operation to grind tier seven ships in. So we're gonna go ahead and put on some signals. Uh, we're gonna put a camouflage on here as well. I'm just trying to figure out which camouflage I'd like to do. I think we'll actually go ahead and do the bronze camouflage. Uh, we've got these economic signals. Not gonna use any special economic signals. We don't de can't detonate in the operations, so we won't need that. Fire, ramming, secondaries. Eh, I think we'll take that off. I think we'll go just with this. So not, not too much going on here. But when we look at Narai for information, um, I did five star this yesterday in my first time at it. Um, so it's required to break through the enemy defenses and remove all enemy forces from the water zone of the base. We'll also secure victory if we manage to provide cover for the assault transport ships to land the majority of troopers. Operation goal, gain control over the enemy base by breaking through the enemy's defenses, eliminating all hostile forces, and escorting the assault transport ships in, being at tier 7, okay? So basically you have your uh, how do they, assault transport ships you're going to escort. Um, they come down this way, some will go through here, and then some go down through here because they're landing along like these island chains here. And then your goal is to protect them. So you're going to have some enemy ships that spawn here. Then you're going to have one that spawns this way. Uh, one comes out here. The store comes up this way. You're going to have uh, enemy Dallas come out from here. Another cruiser, another cruiser. Tier 9 uh, American battleship, the uh, Missouri, comes out here. And you have some enemy ships trying to leave. Um, transport ships. And then you uh, ship has to come down here and destroy them. They're just protected by a fort base and one uh, destroyer, forgetting which destroyer it is. Um, and then you have an enemy carrier who's going to be trying to escape up here to the north. So this provides teamwork. Most of your team is to go down the center to protect the transports while a team member or two go uh, down over here to deal with the carrier. And usually only one, it only takes one to deal with the um, the enemy transport ships leaving, and then there's this huge battle that takes uh, place in the base. So we're just going to head and dive right in. We'll see if there's enough players around. Okay, yeah, my mouse was blocking the cruiser, so I was like, I really hope so. The best ship class um, you can take really is cruisers with high DPM. So Atlanta, Weimar, Fiji, um, they do really good here in this operation. Uh, Scharnhorst does really good. Uh, brawling battleship. Um, New Orleans isn't the, my first pick, but it's the only tier seven ship we have right now as we grind up for Des Moines. So you can see the German battleships here. So secondaries is really good. Um, so yeah, so we'll get a good view here of what happens here in this battle. So we're going ahead and just dive right in. Okay, so we have basically spawned in the back left corner here. And we're going to go ahead and get our guns turned this way because there's going to be a destroyer, a cruiser, and a battleship come out from behind this island over here. Okay, so we got armor piercing loaded because we're going to get broadside from the enemy cruiser and the enemy battleship. Okay. You can see the ship list up over here. It's actually with this... With the cruiser and battleship, I like to be closer, like where the Zara is, because you can just punish them super close. So um, with our 13 second reload time, we're going to first go for the cruiser, and then we're going to go for the Wyoming. 
So they're kind of angled in a little bit, so we gotta have to account for that. Something like that. We have a four up here to be mindful of. We got 5,000. He's gonna die, so we'll just go ahead and switch over to the Wyoming. Uh, that was disappointing. I should have aimed higher. We're gonna slow down so we can get another shot off before the Wyoming goes behind the island. Uh, so that should have been better. No, it's still really low. That's really kind of trolly when you think they're uh, closer uh, angled in, but they're not. We're gonna get another shot off here. The Zara is really going for it. Higher? Yeah, a little better. Is he gonna get with those corpse? Okay, so they've detected enemy aircraft carrier. He's dead. Now we're gonna have an emerald come out right behind this island here. And he is literally the funnest ship, uh, in my opinion, to just blap. Um, my clan members, we basically, when we do this op, we fight over him <laughs> because of that. <laughs> because you can just uh, wreck him quite quickly. Like, the secondaries are working over that base, so we're going to switch back over to this guy. So I'm going to assume, looks like Ozawa, is usually uh, something I left out, is you want to communicate with your team in the beginning of the match, like who's going where? Did anyone say anything? No. Sometimes people say, yo, I'm going to go for um, the carrier, I'm going to go for transports. Looks like the Zara is going to go down to, for the transports, and it looks like Miyoko is going to go for the CV. We'll keep an eye on the mini-map, see what they're going to do. Now we're going to switch fire to the Nicholas, also known as the Elephant. So that's why I switched to HE. Like he's a little nervous. Okay, never mind. All right, we're going to switch back to armor piercing because there's going to be a Dallas comes out from behind this island here. So we're going to slow down a little bit. Now, one of the big things we have to keep in mind is the enemy Missouri. He can absolutely wreck us if we're not paying attention. I'm being cheeky. I'm shooting a little earlier than I probably should. Okay, we did get a Citadel hit. So there's the Emil Burton. We're going to start accelerating. We don't want to be caught out here in the open when Missouri comes out. I'm probably already pushing it as is. But we're gonna keep an eye, so we got three targeting us. So if Missouri shoots at us, which looks like he just did, yeah, we're gonna turn in. Okay, about 15 seconds to get into cover. We're not being targeted though, I think the Miyoko just took the attention. But as soon as he goes dark, I might be number one enemy again. Yep, he's shot at us again. Cut the throttle, turn in. Mitigate the damage. Ooh, that was a good hit. Just try to get heal off. Okay, so we're gonna go behind this island, go dark. Be very dangerous to mess with the Missouri. What we'll do is we'll take out this base these bases can be annoying because of having to deal with them setting you on fire constantly, especially their battleships that are escorting the um, transports. One of the things that annoys me the most about this operation um, in terms of teammates is when they stay behind the cruisers, right? Uh, or transports. They need to be up in front. See, there's four people too distracted going over this direction. You know, this is, this is the main threat right now. Now, the Missouri does have his radar up. I just hope not all these guys go over there because that's not good. Okay, this enemy Miyoko is closer. So I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and come over. So we're gonna deal with the carrier. We're gonna go more for that bow, the weaker armor. And I still shot too far forward. Knowledge. Yeah, this Missouri is way too healthy still. He should be like over less than half health now. 
Okay, the guy's now dumping his torps. Let's go for the stern. Mm, it's not as much damage to go done. Nice, gonna get behind the island. All right, we're having to stay here because we have to protect our transports. Otherwise, I'd like to have already be like down in this area, but. Come on. Right, we're going full accelerate. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, let's switch to arm or HE. So, you can see on the mini map all of these um, transports just coming out. We have four guys down here. Four don't need to be down here. And ping them over there. Uh, so, they're, depending on how things go, if an enemy ship or one of our allied ships gets down here early enough, it triggers this destroyer that escorts the Lexington to come this way. But I don't think anyone is going to trigger it. And then sometimes there's this Dallas. Yes, that's what I'm doing over here. Um, but there's an enemy destroyer that can come out here, potentially. Um, and that can be troublesome to deal with. So there's still the Lexington. There's also going to be a Phoenix uh, American cruiser with him. And you also have this Campbelltown back there. Yep. We need to deal with this guy. Because he gets if he closes the distance, it's not good for us. Because um, he gets torpedoes off. This Nicholas has taken up the lives of a lot of players on this map who get too close and get deleted. Uh, some are really good about rushing in and killing him immediately. I've tried it a few times. Sometimes I'm successful. Sometimes I'm not so successful. But between the HEDPM of myself and the Miyoko, we should be able to quickly dispatch this guy. There's the carrier. So we're going to go ahead and switch our guns to the port side. What are you doing? Oh, Protect transports. All right, so secondary is on Lexington. We're gonna switch to armor piercing for Mr. Phoenix here. I don't know if this is all gonna be over pins. No, not entirely, but he's gonna eat a lot of citadels, so. If a player is good, only it only takes one cruiser player to come down here and do this, but um, mileage varies. Okay, that was a very underwhelming salvo. Now he still has torpedoes, so we're being mindful of that. Okay. Enemy cruiser sunk. Gonna switch over. Skinai is now just wasted so much time. Support the allied target. Okay, we do have these guys, they broke through really quickly. So that's good. So we got armor piercing, we got this Britanga. Uh, that's how you pronounce that name of the ship. And we're gonna get his broadside, so with these 203 millimeter guns, uh, we'll be able to do decent damage. I mean, you can see if you have a high DPM, um, you can pump out a lot of damage. Um, Fiji's and YMR's that make the run I'm making right now uh, can get, you know, three, four, five, and even 600,000 damage in this op. Um, I've pulled off over, I think, 500 so far in Fiji. Um, I don't have the, I don't have it down because uh, it's basically a speed run. Let's see the Omaha, got he got too close. Uh, he looks like he's in trouble. Right, Omaha needs to go. That was a wasted salvo. The secondary's on the gallant. And then we're going to switch attention to this Indianapolis. This Indianapolis has a weakness, a citadel. If you get right in this area, uh, you can do 
a lot of damage potentially. We're gonna use our rear turret still on the New York. Yeah, three citadels. I'm not too worried about this guy dumping torpedoes because he doesn't normally do that. But he's still alive, he needs to go, so. Still alive, rear turret. These guys are kind of ignoring some of these ships. But that's why we're here. Alright, let's continue on. Yeah, see, this Gnizer now, look how much time he wasted. He's not even able to part of this, be the part of this uh, final fight. Don't be the Gnizer now. Stick in the mid. Because <laughs> he just, we didn't need him. We're kind of going for the Atlanta. Go for the cruisers, get the DPM. He's about to go. Increase our damage. We want to break 200,000 damage. That's what, that's what I'm aiming for. Looks like we're going to get it. We do have the ram flag mounted. So we broke 200k. And we're going to use the big torpedo of the New Orleans, being the ship itself. Let's go a further forward. Okay, those are actually all overpins. Let's get close. Let's see what we can do to this Colorado. Let's go upper belt. Okay, more damage. Now we have to be careful because he can delete us. Like that. <laughs> I was showing too much side, but I want to get up here so I can ram him. I do have ram flag on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bye-bye. Oh, it's going to be 228,000 damage. Pretty good with 22 Citadel ribbons as well. So, not the best coordination of our team. I mean, it's very easy to just one-star this op, too. It's not as difficult as defensive naval station Newport. I think that's the hardest op. Um, but we have natural selection. We have assistance. So, pretty good overall. Okay, top of the team. Nice. Yeah, the detailed report is funny because we took all of his health and... Um, but when you're coming through here, this list is just so long. Now, the forts don't count as part of the damage in your personal score, so just keep that in mind. And credit is XP, so not bad, not bad. And we're going to exit out. Uh, no, go to port. So. How did we end up here? 15,989. Oh, really close to be able to pick this up. We have enough credits to pick this up, but I'd rather just uh, uh, save our free XP for now. We're not doing too bad. We actually have 183,000 free XP. So right now we're just saving it. Hopefully we can pick up a, a ship, a free XP ship with that. So we just don't like to spend. So, so yeah, so that is uh, Narai for you. Uh, think we've covered all the ops now um maybe not let me let me check other operations yeah we've covered all the ops now so um but narai is my favorite op um very good for grinding ships like the other ones but this is nice because it's a little different to tier seven wargaming is talking about bringing back some of the old operations that are currently not in the game they took out i don't know why they took out um, or gaming is very difficult to understand and a lot of players uh, that enjoy more the player versus uh, PVE uh, player versus I don't know what that E stands for but um, bots that kind of thing um, there's a good portion of the community that likes this um, and so they had some tier A ops I think Cherry Blossom was a tier A op and there's one or two others too so hopefully Wargaming brings those back but this is Nirai for you 
Uh, so at this point in time, we've covered all the operations. If you want to catch out one, one of the other operations, um, just go uh, look at the new player guide series and we've covered them uh, up to this point so far. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it and we'll catch you next time. Take care.